Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Iken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough of a legendary difficulty. Look at that, we have a simple mission, a simpler mission. Locate and elimin eliminate all of the hatchling sentinels to destroy the nest. That's how it starts and then uh, Skrillas are being born and then it becomes a spawnery. It's rah, worse and worse. Um, so the earlier you get them down the better it is we got our team here uh, the c team that is but i believe they are doing quite well so far they are fully mutated and ready to go let's say there is not much oh yeah well there is something we could give a couple of them enhancements Let's actually use the repeller module. <clears throat> That's a good one. And we can also look into their points. I haven't done that in a while. So um, Stephen here could get heavy weapons. It could be a starting point, but I also want a second class. If we give him heavy weapons, he could help with armor shredding. Hmm. Well, he's typically standing kind of in the middle, but he has a decent uh, he has a decent accuracy. So, on further self con consultation and consideration we're actually going to change that and give him a heavy weapon i need an auto gun though Because if he has multiple shots, then my logic is it will he will actually be able to hit a few. Let's grab one of them. And what else do we not need? Those were typically really, really bad. Okay, so he... He now can help with his heavy gun. Curious to see how that is going uh, to develop over time. Uh, eh, not really keen on uh, giving him bloodlust. We could increase his speed or his willpower. Or we'll just wait and get second class, which I think we're going to do. Hmm, that's not bad, but he doesn't have enough points. Close combat evade I like, but I like weak spot even more. So we're going to save for that. Anthony, I would like to say for Onslaught, could have heavy weapons, could have more stealth, couldn't use panic, which I think is helpful, so we're going to go actually into that. Crowd control is always helpful, that's my experience with these games. Yeah, we want a second class. Good. In terms of equipment, I think everything looks pretty much by the book. So let's deploy the squad. And we landed. Of course, 
The moment after we landed, we immediately had to end the contact. Tightly packed situation here. Yeah, like what I'm seeing. It's a lot of damage. Incy Vinci moves up as well. Not as accurate with her gun, but still okay. Easy enough. So here, we're definitely going to use will points. And I'll just blast him apart. Let's make this happen. Asian cow begins to move up. Firing targets. I'm on the move. And we're placing a turret down where we can look into two directions. Starting to slowly but surely kill everything, but since the enemies here are just medium, uh, since it's just medium density and difficulty, I am not expecting an incredible amount of resistance, which isn't bad. Like a nice, calm mission. From time to time is a good uh, change of pace. Reminds me of the earlier stages of this game. Okay, clearly that side here seems to be the more prominent one. Moving over. Ready, willing, and able. Toughen up. We're healing back up, and what's for edit? Hostile injured but alive. Do we have a war scream? Yes, we do. And Sivensi moves up. Making sure that these guys can't reach us. Overwatches in this direction. And there could be enemies coming from the other side. Feels though, as if this here is the way to go for now.
Let's do this. So. Taking point. Oh, I see. Well, there is the first spawn ray. Kyle looks I'll up as well. Oh, we're done. Oh yeah, please run through here. Steven moves up. He's really hitting very accurately, so I'm happy with uh, giving him that extra ability. Enemy war cries. Can't hit everyone, but I can hit both of these clowns. I just moved to here. Here I come. We would see him now. Apparently, that's not the case. Yeah, we should move out of the way. To hit our friendly unit, but would not be a good idea. Head is disabled as well. That hurt, oh. didn't it? They're not getting past me. Overwatches and Ready what's for begin. edit? Let's start to unload. Watching. And there we go. So first things first again, let's haste everyone. <laughs> Secondly, we're using the spider drones to do what they are supposed to do. Scouting out. Can't wait. Already there. No mercy. Okay. Moving 
closer. Starting to uh, shred the armor over there. Good, he can't shoot back when he is blinded through the smoke, which is great. Reason why it doesn't work. Next turn onwards, we can start to kill even more over here. Okay, moving in closer. Got you covered. And enter. Oh, poison worms shiver my timbers. Yeah. Even that, since we're not under pressure, is mildly, uh, mildly infuriating at best. to um, get the rest out of the way it's unfortunate just give the word okay inside Apparently that did not work. Here comes the Phoenix. But we can try again. Okay, the laser rifle apparently does not have enough oomph to do that. That's I'm here. Another interesting finding. And Sivinci kills, moves up. I miss see. Oh, watching both eyes open. Anthony moves up, overwatching. Overwatch. What's the plan? And Overwatch. Okay, cool. End of turn. Yeah. 
That would have spawned another one? No. It will not, luckily. Okay, yeah, definitely much easier than anticipated. As long as the, uh, the hives are small, it's not such a burden to go th uh, to go through them. Okay, fantastic. The not so good part is. These here are all the resources that were already behind. So, yep, yeah, we need tech. Lots of tech. And I think the idea was we know we could get it here. Almost here. I was pretty sure it was here. Moving over there before we start any mission. Manticore 3. We fly to here and then to there. Yeah, that's the next mission, the Scorpion, which we're going to do maybe this episode because we're we have had such an easy run. Yeah, overall we need to continue to trade apparent that that is becoming very important to just keep everything afloat elsewhere you're being short on the resources I don't know how many of these new resources we need but we're slowly but surely getting there anyways let's do the mission you know I mean why not Snyder and security forces detected. That's bad because we don't want to always fight against them. Combat uh, simulator suggests we keep cover as much as possible until we uh, are in the possession of the antediluvian collection. Everybody is a bit short on equipment, but I think we should be fine. Let's jump right into it. And here we go. Snydron, typically known to be a bit problematic. They have good snipers and they are not fun to fight against. Let's take the butcher, dash up. Well, this is going to hurt you more than it's going to hurt me. Quite obviously, it's going to hurt you more than it's going to hurt me. Oh boy. Ouch. Okay, well, hmm. Let's do a little trick here. A 
can't uh, yet reload. That's unfortunate. But we can start exploring it, uh, exploring the territory ourselves. The realm moves up. Can we jump up here? Yes, we can. That is huge. We're going to do the exact same. Shattered gets onslaught. One, two. Regains willpower. That's good. Not seeing enemies here yet. But we're not close enough to make sure that that is the case. Um, JP Pauly has mind sense, right? Yes, 15 tiles will be revealed. Which means If we're not finding anything in here, can be reasonably sure that there is no organi uh, organic living being in this compound. Okay, cool. Double checking that I get that side of the map completely under control. Okay, nothing here. Might just be those two, really. Dashing up. Then moving up. War cry. It's all three of them. Ian just goes into cover. It's very far behind enemy lines. to slowly but surely start to hit uh, that guy over there. Grell moves to here. Yeah, that's not going to work out way too far away.
guess what we get uh, got so many points back that we can continue our onslaught They are screwed, like royally screwed. Just trying to see if there are any other enemies. Moving fast, mine side tells me nope. There are none. time to continue hitting uh, this thing thruster is disabled sprints down and we need to retrieve something up here evacuate all operatives okay where's the evacuation zone oh down there I can get there in one turn. Shadow Realm moves up. Yeah, we're just starting side by side. Dranks moves up. Dilly moves up. I don't think that there will be a lot of respawn. anything else well here up here is loot doesn't matter now end of turn okay I was wrong I was wrong there is indeed enough uh, of them left to fuck around with us. There we go, because I want to be full health uh, the next time we are going into a mission.
So one more round and then we're out of here. The melee attack damage uh, setup is crazy. Just the amount of damage that we're doing to begin with. But everything else as well. The resets and the movement rate. Wouldn't have thought that at the end melee is one of uh, the most efficient strategies to deal damage. Maybe I'm missing something, maybe there is an even more imbalanced build. But that one uh, AP torso, holy shit, it's so good. God damn it, we forgot about Grell. Okay. Well, two quick missions today, and that special mission here felt good. Not sure if it is really worth uh, like 600 skill points, but okay. For whatever reason, sometimes we're not getting really that the same amount of XP for 600 uh, XP. Last time we got 50 to 60 on each. Now we're getting 20. I don't know. It can't really have to do with the amount of people that we killed because we pretty much just killed every everyone. And since the mission was more or less flawless, I don't know how to do that even better. Well, we got a new research, Scorpion. Oh, that looks like a sniper. Uh, put that to the front, please. And we got the crystal crossbow down there. Hmm. Well, we're getting there anyways with team number two. Personal, something important seems to happen. Oh yeah, recruits. So we got healer, thief, self specialist, and a heavy with bombardier. That is good. I like it. Uh, Alaska snow? No, no, no. Not South America. Born in the USA. And I think we're full now. These we have in. We do have enough um, people. And for whatever reason, we're even producing mutagens. I don't know how, but it's reassuring that we do. Good, trading food. I won't get anything there. Um, Haven info. Not enough to trade at the moment. Seems like we've traded with everyone, there's nothing left. 
Can't move uh, uh, too far away from Born in the USA either. So I'll just fly here and farewell that it likely won't result in anything significant. Scavenging site. Yes, please. And we got new enemies. Okay. Uh, this guy... Explosive bomb abdomen. Each stack deals 5% damage to the creature next attack. Uh, so this seems like more like a buffer. Why do they develop more artillery? It's not that that was really missing in the game. Good, more asset artillery. Mid-range combat. Spitting torrents of goo as well as leveling entire um, fields with its gun. Problem is when they mutate, those suckers will appear more regularly. Oh, he does have the snout uh, to scream. Giant pincers. And yeah, a lot of Skrillers that continue to further develop, which is exactly what I was hoping would do uh, would happen. Hashtag sarcasm off. Good, that will happen the next time. We're still trying to trade for tech. Waiting here. And yeah, we're slowly but surely going through all of this and then making our way down here and doing that mission as well. Cool. That brings us to the end uh, of today's episode. You do have a mission as well. It's called click the like button. Uh, the coordinates are uh, southeast of the video. And if you find it, let me know if you had been successful. Take care. Bye-bye.